I re- I'm the, not the first victim at all. I'm just the first person ever to make this report to the FBI about this particular group. And I call it an international pedophile ring because it was. And I also, um, you know, I think they're heavily involved with intelligence. And I believe they're also, um, well, my report has been stuffed away. Let me put it this way. I refiled a report in 1996 following Ghislaine Maxwell threatening my life. Just prior to that, I had been kidnapped and held captive at Leslie Wexner's home in New Albany, Ohio. And I was held there for Ghislaine and Jeffrey to assault me and transport my sister to Thailand. And um, I didn't even know my sister was going to have any contact with them. And so that's why I was sequestered away so that I wouldn't be mindful or watching. And basically, after I returned to New York, after escaping being held captive by a man named Randy Bowie, who when he introduced himself to me, actually, at the Wexner Estate in in New Albany, Ohio, he said, hi, I'm Randy Bowie. I'm um, a sharpshooter. I'm retired special forces. And he was about 26, maybe 28. So he was already retired. And he said, and um, I'm Les Wexner's right hand man here. And, you know, uh, you're never to go outside again this summer. So don't go outside. And if you're going to go outside, you have to call either Abigail Wexner, the lady of the house, or you're going to, um, you know, not face good, good circumstances. So it was really stressful. So I had returned home and I had spent about a month with family. And so when I returned home, it was kind of amazing that they um, ended up, I end up walking into my apartment and there is a phone call from Ghislaine Maxwell. She's calling, which means she must have called all the, all that time, either like two, two to three weeks. I don't know exactly. Um, what people need to know is this was in 1996, right? So I had never, I, w- I had been in graduate school. I had never heard of people being kidnapped or anything like this. I just needed a job as an artist. And so I just didn't know that these things happened. <laughs> and I went to the NYPD because the night I rolled into town in New York in my rider truck, I pulled up to my apartment and Jeffrey Epstein had had um, one of his butler's sons, Juan Lessie's son living in there. And so all my stuff was gone and he painted the whole place black. <laughs> and so I walk into this black apartment and the phone's ringing and it was Gilan. And I was terrified. And she said, Maria, I'm going to burn your home, your life, your career's already burned. Your family's going to burn. Your friends are going to burn. And we're going to burn all of your art. I hung up up the phone. 